Hi everyone, good day. My name is Gwen Mark Amapoli, a third year BSECE student from Negros Oriental State University, and together with my partner, Carl Lester Emonota, also a third year BSECE student, we will present to you our research proposal entitled Automated Door Control System, a Smart Security Approach. Introduction. A well-rounded security system is vital to battle against the constant threats of safety and security. It provides protection for the things of importance in homes, offices, buildings, and establishments. Neglecting the usefulness of establishing a security system would put both the owner and its properties into risk of vulnerabilities and attacks. So owners usually use the traditional or manual security systems, which comprises the lock and key system, log books, ID cards, security cameras, and even patrolling guards to secure their areas. But there are drawbacks of this traditional or manual security systems. Manual labor, time-consuming installation process, and requires expert knowledge. It can be easily disrupted by perpetrators, and it is resistant to technological advancements. With the growing popularity of IoT or Internet of Things devices, the trend now is the deployment of modern security systems. This study aims to address safety and security issues by developing a smart security system with additional functionality to make it an overall more robust system. Statement of the problem. The challenges of security and safety is one of the most serious issues today. Poor implementation can lead to high risk of vulnerability that could negatively affect lives. Traditional security systems cannot catch up to the fast and adaptable threats society is experiencing. And this study aims to address safety and security issues by developing a smart automated door control system. Particularly, this study aims to answer the following questions. Number one, how to develop a smart door security system? Number two, what are the key components in developing such a system? Number three, what are the functionalities and or benefits of having such a system? Number four, what are the restrictions of the system? Number five, what will be the total cost in developing such a system? And number six, what would the retail price of the system be as a commercial product? Hi, I'm Carlos Hermanota, and this is the significance of the study. The result of this study will be beneficial to institutional buildings like Negros Oriental State University, nurse campuses, commercial and residential building, and other researchers. In Negros Oriental State University, NERSO, this is a significant endeavor in boosting the security system security system of the university. So the adaptation of this IoT or Internet of Things in the security systems paves way for the traditional security system to become smart and robust system ideal for use in combating safety and security challenges in the institution. So the location, the specific location to implement the security system is in certain facilities which hold valuable data files regarding the institutions like the president's office, the registrar, the registrar office, and dean's offices in which they can control to who access or enter their offices. Specifically, this study is significant for NORSO, other institutional or commercial and as well as residential building because of this following reason. So first, it improves the security of the building against the potential intruders. Second, to make sure that the valuable data, files, and possessions are protected. Third, it enhances the safety and privacy of the administrator, owner, and lastly, it integrates the system with facial recognition to control who can access specific parts or rooms of the building. Researchers, so this study will be useful to researchers who are studying the same topics related to automated door control system. So the result and the information, the information contained in this study can be used by future researchers as reference for their study. 
the scope and limitation of the study. This study focuses on the development of a smart security system that can be utilized by Negros Oriental State University campuses. The development of this smart security system is to design a working model of an automated door control system with additional functionality to make it an overall more robust system ideal for use in combating safety and security challenges. This system will be most beneficial to deploy where strict monitoring and control of who can access certain facilities is needed. So these facilities hold valuable data and files regarding the institutions like the President's Office, Registrar's Office, and Dean's Offices. So this system will be called a Smart Door Security System. So the proposed security system will be composed of an automated door control automated door opening and closing system with an integrated camera module that is able to capture the photos when it detects motion within its proximity and save it locally via a micro SD card. So due to the fact that the photographs are smaller in file size compared to a video clip, the system can save more data into it into its up to 4 gig of data capacity in storage. So the system can also conduct facial recognition to control the opening and closing of the door. So the system will only trigger the opening and closing of the door based on the registered faces it's stored. So testing will not account for the occurrence of twins, especially identical twins. The components for the systems are easily available it easily available and its estimated total production cost will be based on what the most convenient e-commerce website provides that provides the researchers with theoretical framework of the study this study is based on the theory that all objects emit some level of heat and also they radiate infrared energy Pyroelectric infrared PIR sensor is a device that can sense the infrared IR light within its viewing range. This sensor is a, is, a fast, is a passive device that simply measures the changes in the IR levels emitted by the surrounding objects. So in connection to our study, our study uses a passive infrared sensor to open or close the door automatically which senses the infrared energy emitted by the human body. When someone is near the door, the IR energy sensed by the PIR sensor changes and activates the sensor to open and close the door automatically. Another theory that the study is based on is that technology today can enable devices to use face detections and recognition. Face recognition is a method of identifying or verifying the identity of an individual using their face. Face detection is a component of facial recognition. The first stage of facial recognition is detecting the presence of a human face in an image of video but it cannot identify that person. So in connection to our study, the study, our study uses a facial recognition to control who can access or enter the, the door. The door will automatically open if the face detected by the system is registered on the database and if not, if not registered, the door will remain closed. Conceptual framework of the study. A conceptual framework is proposed for developing an automated door control system in Negros Oriental State University, specifically in certain facilities, which hold valuable data and files regarding the institution. The proposed conceptual framework is shown below. So the figure shown is the conceptual framework of the study. So when someone or a person is approaching towards the door, this PIR sensor can sense infrared energy emitted by that person. So simply this PIR sensor can sense or detect movement or detect human movement. So if this PIR if this PIR sensor detects movement, it will trigger the camera to take a photo on that area or the outside area of the room to see if there is a human face. If any face is detected, the face will undergo facial recognition, facial recognition to Authenticate if the face is registered or enrolled or match on the database. So if the face is if the face is match, the system will recognize and let that person in or access the room. If the face if the face is not match, the system will not recognize that person 
that door will remain closed or the door will remain closed and that person cannot enter or access the room unless if the admin or the owner of the room will open it manually. So, in uh, to register the face, that person's face must position to the camera and the admin will take and the admin will enroll the face and save it to the database. This system will include the following feature to enhance the safety, security, and privacy of the person inside the said facility. So it recognizes presence. The system will activate the camera to take a photograph on the area once it can detect human movement towards the front of the door. Face detection. If the face is detected, the system will authenticate the face through facial recognition. Automation of door opening and closing. If the face is detected by the system and it is registered, the door will automatically open and if not registered, the door will remain closed. Alert intruder on the user's monitor. So if the face is not registered on the system, alert intruder will appear on the user's monitor, meaning the person outside the door cannot access or enter the facility or the area. Review of related literature. The study is focused on the improved development of the automation of doors and ent entrances, making it a suitable choice for security purposes. A number of studies have the potential to be added additional functionality, making the system an overall more robust solution to the security and safety challenges society is facing today. A way to automate the opening and closing of doors can be achieved by developing a system that have these vital components, a sensor, a microcontroller, motor driver, and a motors. A sensor will send a signal to the microcontroller telling it that there is a motion sense, then the microcontroller will send out signal to the motor driver that controls that control the motors to open or close the door. The use of Bluetooth and IoT devices to determine whether a user is in physical proximity to the door lock and authenticate users attempting to access the door and develop an Android and develop an Android and iOS application to serve as the user's endpoint. Automation of doors and entrances can become security access system with the use of mobile phones and the and the DTMF or dual tune dual tune multi frequency technology. There is a system that is made up of sensor alarm sensor alarm and image monitoring system connected on the Zigbee technology that enables the user to have remote access while also receiving images and can send instructions to it. Cameras with face detection technology would also help the system to greatly minimize to greatly, greatly minimize the error of accidentally opening or closing the door and entrances from non-person movement and can detect which people have access to enter the room or area. Sometimes objects and people can be seen or sensed within the proximity of the entrance way, entrance way but have no intention to enter. Another method that could be a promising tool to integrate with the Automation of doors and entrances is by measuring the intention of a person to enter or not. Research methodology. The researchers followed the sequence of procedures, determination and acquisition of the components, then initializing the microcontroller. This is where the researchers will input a program into the microcontroller, the ESP32CAM. If the sketch is verified and successfully uploaded, then it will proceed to the assembling of the parts. If not, the researchers will need to reprogram it. After the assembling of the parts, the system will undergo testing. Determination and acquisition of the component. So the power requirement of the system is 9 to 12 volts. And the key components of the system is comprised of a sensor, a microcontroller, a relay module, and a DC motor. The sensor to be used is a PIR sensor. This senses motion in the area and the ESP32 cam is the microcontroller of choice of the researchers.
This is a block diagram of the proposed smart door security system. And as you can see, it is powered by a 9 to 12 volt battery power supply. And the connections will be in the microcontroller, most of them. And the PIR sensor is connected to the ESP32 cam and the relay module as well. While the motor or the door is connected to the relay module. This table right here shows the total cost of building this system. The reference is from Shopee, a well-known e-commerce website in the Philippines. So the total cost would be 1,360 pesos if in the case it would not be bundled with a CH340G, it would need an Arduino Uno R3 board to connect it in order for the researchers to program the microcontroller. So in the case where it is bundled with a, with a CH340G, the total cost would be lessened to 961 pesos. So initializing the microcontroller. The microcontroller can be programmed before assembly to ensure that if any error occurs in the setup process, it can be easily addressed and would not interfere with other components of the system. So it would be nice to initialize or to send the program first to the microcontroller before the assembling. It needs to be connected to an Arduino board and the use of the Arduino IDE. And for acquiring an ESP32 CAM bundled with a CH340 IC board, it would not be necessary anymore to use the Arduino board, but we will still use the Arduino IDE to put our program. So in this figure, it shows the programming of the ESP32 CAM using Arduino Uno by Tech Study Cell. In the Arduino IDE, the ESP32 board needs to be installed from the board manager to access the camera web server sketch. This sketch, with further modification, will allow the system to perform as what the researchers intended it would do. So basically, the command to put into the microcontroller is the ability to take a photograph when it senses motion and use face detection and recognition to automatically unlock a door based on its registered faces. So these features would make an automatic door control system a much more robust system in the security and safety concern. The IP address to enable video streaming capability for remote access can be obtained from the serial monitor from the Arduino IDE and the device to be used for the video streaming capability like our smartphones or computers or laptops needs to be connected to the same internet or Wi-Fi connection with the system. After the microcontroller has been successfully initialized, we can now proceed to the assembling of the parts. This is a schematic diagram of the proposed smart door security system using Proteus 8 Professional. This is the PIR sensor. It will detect any motion in the vicinity of the area. And this is the ESP32 cam microcontroller. And this is our relay module, and this is our DC motor. And this is a voltage regulator. Now, a voltage regulator is used to get 5 volts from the 9 volt to 12 volt battery power supply since the ESP32 cam and the relay module work on 5 volts. The reason for having this voltage regulator is that the 9 to 12 volt battery supply is for the DC motor and the micro SD card to be inserted into the system needs to be formatted in FAT32. So this is the flowchart of the proposed smart door security systems operation. It will start from here. And then is there motion being sensed? If no, the door or entrance will not open and will stay closed. If yes, there is motion being sensed, the camera will take a photograph of the area and photos will be saved in the SD card. Then after, is their face detected? If no, the door or entrance will not open and will stay closed. But if yes, there is face detected, it will proceed to authenticating face by facial recognition. Now, is the face registered in the system? 
If no, the door or entrance will not open and will stay closed. If yes, the face is registered in the system, the door or entrance will open and will stay open and after the 5 seconds are up, the door will close. End of system operation. Testing. So the researchers' respondents. The researchers will gather 10 to register their faces into the system and another 10 with unregistered faces. A total of 20 respondents. Now the system's accuracy is its ability to identify a registered face from an unregistered face correctly. Formula to be used to compute accuracy is given by this equation. Accuracy is equal to Tp plus Tn all over Tp plus Tn plus Fp plus Fn times 100%. Where Tp is true positive, this is the number of cases correctly identified as registered faces, while Fp is the false positive where the number of cases incorrectly identified as registered faces. Tn, the true negative, the number of cases correctly identified as unregistered faces, and the Fn, the false negative, is the number of cases incorrectly identified as unregistered face. Three trials of tests are to be done for each scenario. These trials will also provide the researchers information on the system's capability of capturing a photograph and saving it to the microSD card. And the sequence of authenticating the respondents will be randomized for each trial. The final value of the system's accuracy will be the average of the three trials. Thank you everyone for your time and patience. I hope you have learned something and are interested in our research proposal. Again, this is Gwen Mark, Emma Polly, together with my partner, Carl Lester Emma Nota. Thank you and God bless.